Welcome back to my channel. I am Brittany Daniel. Don't forget to follow me on my social media and subscribe to this channel. I make videos every single week. This video was highly requested. Um, in this video, I'm going to be giving you tips or hacks um, to help you stay on budget, give you some budget ideas, maybe stuff that you've never thought about, and also physically show you how I break down my budget and I kind of stay and manage my money. I am no expert. This is a constant struggle for me personally each and every month, but hopefully with some of these tips and some of the things that I do, they can put you in a better financial situation or just in a better situation period to have a better handle on your money so if you want to hear the tips and the hacks please stay tuned okay so the first thing and I have notes here so if I'm looking down I'm gonna look at my notes the first thing I want you guys to understand especially if you're younger and especially if you're in college live within your means and what this means is don't try to keep up with somebody don't spend your money on a bag if you don't have the money to spend and this is hard because i kind of do this sometimes sometimes i splurge on on items that i really just don't need like that because i want to try it or i've seen it on youtube or i like it and i have a hard time with sephora with this going into sephora i'm like oh that'd be good for my channel but i have to constantly ask myself do i really need this and another thing is never compare yourself to somebody else that you see you don't know where they're getting their money from especially if you're in school most likely it's their parents money if they don't have their own job so never um, feel jealous or insecure because you don't have things that other people do not have you never know how they have it you don't know what's in their savings account it's better to be like look broke and have money in your savings to look fabulous and be broke even though this is what the society does but it's it's just better to have as much money as possible sorry for the noise guys I live in New York welcome to my channel <laughs> the second tip I have is extremely crucial this keeps me out of a lot of trouble is to pay your bills first like as soon as you get paid as soon as you get like an overpayment or a lump sum of money pay all your bills first the worst thing you can do is go shopping right away because you're gonna spend money and you know you don't really know which, which wiggle room you have the best thing to do is when you pay your bills first then you can play around with the money left over with shopping makeup and all of that stuff so one thing I do that has really worked for me really kept my credit really well done everything like that is to just pay all my bills first I get a lump sum every month so I just knock out all my bills so as soon as you get paid you can decipher like what part of the month your bills come out in and to just knock that those out and I rather pay all my bills bills and live off a little then spend a lot and then crap my bills are late and then I have creditors calling me or I, my stuff goes into default that's not what you want to do so the second tip is to pay your bills first oh this is another okay so the third tip is really really helpful have a plan for your money before you get paid have a plan for your money and don't do what I did in high school and my plan for my check was getting the new J's like <laughs> Have a plan for your money, have a savings goal, like, oh, I wanna save this much, or oh, I want this. Like, if you know that you want to get that new beauty product, have that already in your mind or written out, so you, when you do go to budget, or when you do go to figure some things out, you already know that you're gonna spend this much on a certain item or product write out everything that you need and want and then that that way you know that it's your biggest priority or you're like oh you know what i really don't want that but always have a plan for your money so that way it just doesn't fly out of your hands like it does most of us <laughs> and tip number four kind of goes into tip number three and it's like doing your research what i love to do is online shop and just really see what's out there compare prices see where i can get the best deal when i don't have the money so when i do have the money i know exactly where to get it from and i'm not spending more than i have to i'm gonna give you guys some tips on saving money now again i am not an expert believe me the, these tips have worked for me when i used them and then when i didn't i ended up broke so hopefully these tips help you more than they they'll help you <laughs> if you follow them okay so the first thing even the richest man in babylon will tell you to save 10 percent of your money and depending on your religious background they tell you to give but one thing that i've noticed is when i did give 10 percent, which was totally fine i didn't really end up saving much and i honestly feel like I rather save a little bit more and give less with a bigger heart than to give a whole bunch and 
really put myself in a hole so what I like to do is save try to save 10% of your check and even though it looks like a lot like say if you got three thousand dollars three hundred dollars seems like a lot but honestly if you put it away if you put it aside if you have it automatically transferred to another account you won't even know I promise you you won't even notice it but when I did implement saving 10% every month my account was like growing and I was like dang it was just like popping so when you save 10% and really keep it in savings like don't go in there don't you know dabble in your savings or anything like that when you genuinely save 10% it will make a difference another tip I like to do I kind of mentioned it before was to online window shop so what I do is I like to go online look at everything I want put it in the carts and then I kind of don't buy it what uh, this allows me to do well, one I don't like going through the process of putting in my name and my card information and all that stuff but what it does is it kind of like allows my mind to think that I'm getting things but then I really don't get them or just wait 24 to 48 hours if you do put the things in your card and that doesn't work for you to see if that you even want those things later on and a lot of times what I do is I put a whole bunch of stuff in my cart and then I'll go I don't want that I don't want that I don't want that and just ask yourself like do you really need these things so online like fake online window shopping is something that saves me money all the time because I hardly ever buy stuff online so the next tip is to track your money. I have a budget book and what I used to do every month, I fell off to be honest with you. I did this for two months and it really, really worked. And I'm gonna pick it up again because it really helped me keep track of my expenses and everything, especially if you're on YouTube or if you have your own business. Keeping track of your personal finance, your personal and business finances are a must because you have to claim these things at the end of the year and you wanna keep make sure that you're tracking what you need to track. So what I like to do is in this budget book, and I will show you guys in a minute how I format everything, but I like to go through and write down every single item that I purchase, whether it's a burger from McDonald's, whether it's some Sephora products, whatever it is, when you track your spending at the end of the month, you can see where your money goes. And I also keep the receipts as well. And I file them in Ziploc bags. So I'm like, okay, these are October's expenses. These are November's expenses. And it really shows me how much money I'm spending and where I'm spending it. This lets you see like where your money's going, what you need to save or just like areas where you can improve. Like maybe you bought a bottle of water when you could have took it with you. You know, little things like that will help you. And also um, making your budget. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a minute. I'm sorry if this video is going to be a little long, but I wanted to encompass everything together and not make two separate videos, but we're going to show you how to budget. So, okay, go. so I've already pre-done this one. This is like just a regular sheet of paper. It's helpful to do this in like the same book like designated notebook or a planner or something to do this every month but I write I do write down my bills every month even if they're not in the same place but what I like to do is break my bills down versus expenses now some people will say well a bill is an expense but yes but the difference between for me in my mind bills and expenses our bills are gonna come out no matter what not changing not fluctuating this is what it is and over here my expenses fluctuate my gas my transportation costs food, clothes, makeup, YouTube, nails, hair, all of this fluctuates depending on the month. This can always vary. So I always pay out my bills first and then with the money left over, then I track how much I'm going to spend in these areas. So just for shoots and giggles, let's just say you get paid $3,000 a month. And for some people that's a lot and for some people that's nothing. It just depends on your bracket. This is not how much I make a month. This is just a figure that I'm gonna go off of. And I'm just gonna show you guys how I break this whole thing down. So let's just say, um, and these are all made up figures. This isn't anything, and I'm sorry, I have to turn the paper to write. Let's just go with it. So just say your rent is, well, we'll just say $500. Your car note is $200. Your insurance is $100. Say you have a credit card and one credit card is $25. The other one, just say 15, another $25. You have a student loan payment, that's $100. Your phone bill is $75. Internet bill, $30, your cable bill, $30, and your Apple Music if you're a student is $4.99. So what I do next is I will take a calculator and add up all of my bills. Your monthly total for your bills would be $1,104.99, which isn't bad at all. This is actually really good if these were your bills. Um, that's not a bad 
amount whatsoever, right? And again, these are just made up figures. And I didn't double check, so I may have miscalculated, but this is just the purposes of this video, so we're just gonna keep rolling. Take my total, my number of how much I was gonna make, will subtract my total bills, right? Well, I didn't do the 99 cents, but I have that or I just round it down to the five. So I have 1800. This is how much I have left for the rest of the month. And honestly, this is a lot of money to play with for the rest of the month. If you're not a big spender, um, this is a lot of sit to save. You can actually, in my mind, I would save the 800. I like saving a lot of money. I would save the 800 and just play with a thousand dollars um because this is an ideal lifestyle I wish I lived like this that would be my thing I would put in like I like doing figures like that and I would just like have the 95 I don't know whatever you want to save but 10% of this would have been 300 so you could have even saved 300 and still had money left over so Let's just say we did save the 10% like we talked about in the video. So I'm just gonna put this over here, make my savings a bill. So I'll put savings down here. Actually it should be first, but you know, whatever. And then you're just gonna add that on. So then it goes to 404.99. Equals 1500.15901. So even with 15901, still a lot of money to play with. But okay, so say if, okay, I have 15901, then I go, okay, so my gas, how much am I spending for gas? Let's see, most people got regular cars, right? I have a BMW, so it's more expensive. But let's just say it costs $20, $20 a week. So you're gonna put $20 a week, and you're gonna times that by four, because remember, this is your month. This is all month, okay? So you're gonna do 20 times four, that's easy, but I did it with a calculator just to make sure I get the figures right. That's $80. If you live in New York, you'll do public transportation for a month. That's $116. Um, your food, $200 a week, which is a lot of food for me. 200 times two, because that's a week. It's 400. Let's say you want to go shopping, you want to splurge a little bit. Let's say you spend $500. And then you spend $100 on makeup. Tube, you wanted to invest $50. Say you spend $100 on your nails, and then $300 on your hair. So now you've went over budget because all of this is 16, four, six. You see how quick things can add up? Okay, so now you're over budget. When you do your budget like this, before you spend a dime, this will show you where your money can go or you can fluctuate say okay i went over budget now let me backtrack and see where i need to take away maybe i don't need to get my hair done this month that's minus three hundred dollars maybe um i don't want to get any makeup i don't need any makeup that's minus a hundred then i don't i don't really want to spend this much on clothes i only need like one outfit so that might go down to 75 instead of 500 do you see how playing around with these figures and these numbers can really help you stay on budget and keep track of where your money's going and all of this and i do this every single month guys like every month so I hope those tips were helpful. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel or watching this video. Leave a comment below. Did I forget anything? Did I, I'm not the best explainer sometimes. Did I explain something correctly? Let me know down in the description box. What do you think? Should I go into something more in depth? Um, I hope you guys learned something from this video. This was highly requested, that's why I did it. But if you guys have any other questions, just leave them below and I will be sure to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.